What's up, everybody? We're uh, we're gonna do a little install on this beautiful sunny day. We're gonna we already have a Mishimoto transmission cooler installed on this Dodge Ram 2500, and now we're gonna install the intercooler kit. Intercooler kit comes with all the boots, pipes, clamps, everything you need in order to install this. Stay tuned. So first we're going to get this bumper off and we're going to get this cross brace here that's on the top of the core support and um, I think it's six or seven bolts so uh, we'll get that off we'll have much more room to work. All right, now that we got the crossbar out of the way, bumper out of the way, we've got a few more bolts on the intercooler, clamps to get the boots off, and then we'll be taking this bad boy out. All right guys, so it turns out you can't take the intercooler out without either draining the radiator and lifting out of the way or removing it entirely. So we're draining it. a bit more of a pain than I expected. It would not come out without moving the radiator, so I drained the radiator, unhooked it, didn't pull it fully out, but I was enough to bring it up on one side, pull the intercooler out on that side, pull it up on the other side, pull the intercooler on that side. So this new Mishimoto unit isn't fully bolt-in replacement. You do need to trim or bend these pieces of fender. There's a piece right there. that needs to be bent up a little bit because the end tanks are slightly bigger. This piece right here. So here's what we made room for, this part right here. This is much larger than the stock unit. Um, these end tanks are bigger. The whole core itself is 47% thicker. Um, it's a nice unit. This thing is really going to come into play when we start putting more boost and more fuel to it. Temperatures are going to start rising so any help we can get with the intake air temperatures is going to greatly improve efficiency. So here we go. Look at the difference between the stock one and the Mishimoto one.
Hey guys, so different day as you can see, but today we're gonna install the intercooler pipes, boots, and clamps from Mishimoto. The Mishimoto pipes come only in polished. They don't offer black like they do the intercooler. So with the going along with the theme of this stealth look we're going with this truck, we opted to get them blacked out. So what we did is we got them Cerakoted. Now Cerakoted is very popular in the firearm industry, really starting to gain traction in automotive right now. What it is, it's a ceramic coating that's baked on and pretty much anything that you could traditionally anodize or get powder coated, rims, piping, um, maybe even calipers, uh, you can Cerakote them. So if you guys have any interest in getting something Cerakoted, we went to Los Angeles Cerakote, Instagram right here. Check them out. So here we are back at the tailgate. You can see these pipes. Beautiful flat black. Nothing flashy, kind of just like the stock ones. The stock ones come black. Um, these are aluminum. So you're gonna get a little, a little bit of weight reduction, but um, not too much difference rather than stock. As far as the boots go, the boots are definitely an upgrade from stock. They are much thicker, much stronger. Um, they're gonna do a lot better job at holding, holding all the boost. So then that brings us to the clamps. The clamps are pretty heavy duty. They should do a great job at holding the boost. So in order to get these old pipes and boots out, all you have to do on the passenger side is remove the, the air intake. I have the stock air intake right now. So remove the air intake and you should be able to get at the clamps to get the boots off and pull the pipes out. So here's the stock passenger side intercooler pipe coming off the turbo to the intercooler. Pipes are about the same. The boots though are much thicker with more layers. One more thing to note, the boot with the sharper, more acute angle is gonna go on the driver's side, and that's this one. So that's a wrap for the install. Thank you again to Mishimoto and Los Angeles Cerakote. Be on the lookout for a full write-up on trucktrend.com and always be following on Facebook and Instagram.